Hey guys, today I have a much requested video that I have been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Favorites and hate it's for Revlon because if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I have tried so many products from Revlon. Like even back in the day when I did Madness Monday every single week, like I was always buying Revlon. There are some definite home runs here and there are some definite things that I would not recommend. Again, take it with a grain of salt because this is just my opinion and you know, something that I didn't really like that didn't work for me might be a favorite of yours and that's that's makeup for you, you know, that's just how it is. So let's get started with some of my favorites. And what I just put on right before filming this is this guy right here, So Pretty Juicy Papaya Lip Butter. Okay, Revlon kind of started this whole trend in my opinion. They were the first ones to come out with the drugstore lip butters, and then you just started seeing them everywhere from Lip Whispers to the L'Oreal Balms to just like, I feel like everyone has some type of a lip butter, and I think that Revlon really, they get it done well. I love these. They are amazing feeling. They feel so good. They're hydrating and really colorful and depending on which one you get it can go from sheer to like really intense like this kind of red one I have. Candy Apple is so absolutely intense. It's like a really hydrating red glossy lipstick. I love it. I've been a fan of these forever. Other lip products that I absolutely adore are the glosses, the super lustrous glosses. Lustrous. There's no tea in that. All right, they've changed the packaging. They're in little circular tubes now, very fancy. Um, this guy I've had forever and I adore. The formula I feel is exactly the same, so not much has changed there. It is a tried and true, like amazing formula, really hydrating, really soft, not sticky, good color coverage, uh, doesn't kind of settle in the creases of your lips. And uh, they almost remind me of MAC lip gloss, but not sticky, which MAC lip gloss tends to be very, very sticky. These are a little more sheer in feeling, but they still have that, um, that kind of nice color coverage that you get from MAC lip gloss. Anyway, this one is Peach Petal. This is my absolute favorite favorite. If you are after a nude gloss, this is one of the best ones in the drugstore. I absolutely love it. Color Burst Glosses. I don't love these. I don't hate these. I just don't reach for them enough. I absolutely prefer the original formula over these. These are supposed to be more intense in color and they do feel a little more sticky and they just don't sit well on my lips. I don't know, I might be the only one out there because I know a lot of people really love these and I kind of go through phases where I like try to love them but to be honest, I just don't really reach for them. Revlon lip liners have just never worked for me so this is kind of a, this is in the hate it category. See, what the heck was that? They just dry out and fall out. I, this has happened to me over and over again. I don't know why that happens, but it always happens to me, even with like the automatic brow pencils or eyeliners. I just kind of stay away from Revlon liners as a whole. They have a couple of sharpen liners that are not bad. Um, the Colorstay Black one is all right, but anything automatic, I just, I don't like. Um, like this guy right here, this Colorstay Brow Enhancer, it's the same thing. I believe that side felt, yeah. Both sides falling out. I don't even know what the heck. And really just the formula is a little bit hard, a little bit waxy, so liners are a no-go for me. Colorstay Ultimate Suede, I have dogged on these left, right, and center as well. Not a fan, really drying, really awful. Back to the loves, because we're kind of gonna go love-hate, love-hate, and we're not gonna keep it just one side, that side. It's gonna be all mixed together. So back to the love. Love me some Revlon Matte Lipstick. They do not dry out the lip. They have a beautiful color range. They feel very luxurious. They feel very high-end and I think they're amazing. As far as the lipsticks go, I have way too many here. Um, let me point out some of my favorites. Really love Just Enough Buff. It's very glossy and totally sheer. Great for neutral, no makeup -y kind of days. And then Primrose, who doesn't love this? This is kind of like a classic Revlon lip color that looks good on so many different skin tones. It's just this gorgeous kind of purpley undertoned a little bit pink. And it's really pretty on the lip, love those. And another thing that I totally love, 
these color stay quads they are amazing i just think they are so blendable and pretty and they wear on the lid fabulously this purple one which is called seductive i actually used in my 20 dollars makeup challenge and i still grab for it like i've had it forever and i still wear this and whenever i do i get compliments left right and center and it's amazing it just blends and just i just love it and this purple right in here is like the prettiest purple ever absolutely amazing um, yeah, this guy right here, great blending shade. What I would say no to are these new ones. What on earth? I don't know why they don't blend as well. Everything in here is very shimmery. You get this weird powdery base that is supposed to be your eyeshadow base, but it just goes on kind of chalky and smeary and weird. And I have tried several of them and I, I just, I don't like them. I absolutely prefer the formulation in these and find them to be way more wearable than these guys. And this is the Revlon Photo Ready. Mm. Mm -mm. For the face, a lot of you guys noticed in my five minute makeup challenge that I did use this guy right here. And this is the Photo Ready Sculpting Blush Palette. I kind of have a love hate with this. If I'm at home getting ready and I'm taking my time, I definitely will reach for other blushes. But these guys are amazing if you're in a hurry. This is great purse makeup because you do get a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. What's great about this is you can use this highlighter not only on the cheek, but you can use it as shadow and then take that bronzer, that brown shade right in the crease. You can use your blush and then you can sculpt and bronze up the face. You really can get so much use out of something like this with minimal space taken up in your purse. And I love that, it's great. The product is not bad, but it's not like so amazing that I'm like going, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. But uh, yeah, I do keep these in my purses because I just, I think they're convenient. For the face also, another thing that I love, and I did use this in the five minute makeup challenge as well. I'll link that below too for you guys. This is the BB cream, it's the Photo Ready BB. It is moisturizing. If you have combination skin, it's not gonna be overly moisturizing. You still will get use out of it, but you will get a little bit shiny. You may need some powder at the end of the day. If you have very oily skin, this is not for you at all. Run the other direction. Not good for oily skin because it is kind of your moisturizer, sunscreen, and coverage all packed into one. So great for rushed mornings if you're going to the beach, if you know you're going to be outside and you just want a little color with your sunblock and your moisture, then this is amazing. This right here, this bronzer was such a surprise favorite for me. I love this. It's absolutely amazing. What is this called? It's just called bronzer. It's a photo ready bronzer. I don't think Revlon has many bronzers, but this one I love. You get four shades, they're matte. You can kind of dip in the lighter if you want, or you can swirl your brush all together. They work beautifully with one another. You can even take the darker shades, throw them in your crease, blend out a shadow look. And this stuff wears really well without getting orange or streaky or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. You know when you put on a bronzer and you look in the mirror and you're like, ooh, this looks nice. It gave me like a nice glow and a nice little bronze look and I look like I've been in the sun, but it's really natural. I got this in the beauty box from uh, the Allure Blogger Awards competition and yeah, I've loved it ever since. Now let's talk a little mascara. You guys know I love the Lash Potion. I really, really love this. I have it in the regular and in waterproof. Waterproof, oddly, is more natural than the regular. I thought that was kind of strange, but I do like them both. Last but not least, nail stuff. Revlon does amazing when it comes to nail polish. I love their nail polish. I just, I can't get enough. These little moon candies are some of my favorite. Even if you don't like this kind of foiled glitter uh, top coat that they have going on, this side, these are like ink dark. Like you like need one coat and you're good to go. You're out the door, it dries pretty quickly. Throw a glossy top coat on and your nails will look amazing. Or you could like paint them all and do just one accent nail with the top coat. But I love these moon candies. Also love the Top Speed by Revlon. This really does dry fast. It's amazing if you are in a giant hurry. Just kind of throw on one coat. It will dry within a couple of minutes and bam, you're out the door. And they have tons of colors to choose from. They're really richly pigmented and they do apply very well. This one is called Fire. It's just a really pretty red. All right, I think that that wraps it up for this favorites or hate it's for Revlon. Leave in the comment section uh, what are your favorites from the line or what are your not favorites?
What do you not like from Revlon? Let me know. Also, if you are interested in this makeup on my face right now, I did a tutorial on Monday. I will link that below for you. Um, just if you're curious, because a lot of you guys are like, what's on your eyes? What's on your nails? All that will be in that video. And then let me know also if there's another line. What do you, you know, what do you want me to do next? I've done Maybelline, Physicians Formula, I think Wet n Wild. Let me know what line should I love and hate on next time. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you later. Mwah.